This video is going to be about the island equilibrium model. So the island equilibrium model applies to oceanic islands, but it also applies to habitat islands. So for example, in like habitat fragmentation, if you end up with just a small little region of a particular habitat that we could technically consider that um, a habitat island since it's isolated from other regions of similar habitat. So with the island equilibrium model, something that we see is that small islands generally have lower immigration rates and higher extinction rates. So this is going to be because if you have a smaller island, one, you're going to have higher species uh, density on it. You're going to have more organisms living close together. And so if there's already a lot of organisms on this small island, then we're, uh, there's no incentive for other organisms to then migrate to that island. And also because there's a smaller region, we have more competition for resources. And due to that, we're going to have higher extinction rates. So a closer island is generally going to have higher immigration and lower extinction than an island that is farther away. And so we're going to have higher immigration because it's closer, so it's easier for organisms to get to. And we're going to have lower extinction because if there's competition in that island, it's not going to be a far um, journey or particularly challenging for organisms from that island to go back to uh, an area with more abundant resources. So if we look at this graph right here that's relating uh, the rate of immigration and extinction to the number of species on a particular island, we can see that with the extinction curve, as we increase the number of species on an island, the rate of extinction is going to increase, again, due to that increased competition for resources. Whereas uh, with the immigration curve, we can see that as we increase the number of species on an island, we're going to have less immigration, because why would an organism want to go to an island that already had a dense uh, community of uh, a lot of different kinds of species uh, and a lot of competition? Um, so in that situation, organisms have uh, less incentive to actually migrate to those islands. And so where we see these two curves, the immigration and extinction curves, intersect is what we would call the equilibrium number of species to where we have equal immigration and extinction so the number of species on that island wouldn't be changing at that point therefore it is the equilibrium. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.